In this video, I spill some lube. What the? Break some stuff. Come on. And try to fix it. Hundreds of thousands of people each year compete to solve the Rubik's Cube as fast as they possibly can. And if you are a speed cuber, you definitely have heard of the brand GAN. It's the GAN 12. This is the GAN 13. The GAN 14. GAN is known for two things. Being expensive and breaking a lot of records. Oh! 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 This combination makes GAN the eye catcher when we're talking about speed cubes. Thank you, by the way, for watching my stupid ass. <laughs> But many cubers believe that last year's GAN 13 didn't live up to the GAN 12. And that's why you see so many top cubers sticking to the older model. So the question for this video is, is the new GAN 14 GAN's best release yet? Let's start off with the unboxing experience, which GAN is known to nail. This year, you can pull the box open, which results in world record time box openings. You don't believe me? The cube itself comes in a case which surprised me the first time I opened it. What is this in the box? <gasps> it namely comes with extra core magnets and an adjustment tool in the box. Because don't we love to adjust our corner magnets wherever we go? I have never swapped a single corner magnet in my life. The cube also comes with an accessory box with information about setting up the cube, which, spoiler, you will need another adjustment tool and a bag for the swag. And you can get all of this for the economical price of just $88. But wait a second, you can get 10 Moyu RS3Ms for that. Or this smartphone. Or even 150 pounds of bananas. Yum yum. But GAN tried their best to justify this price with their famous slogan, 1,296 possibilities in one cube. Oh man, I can't wait to adjust this cube and try all of the 1,296. For real, how's that a good thing? This is the Rubik's Cube with the most features ever. And one of the features is that the cube comes with 88 magnets installed, which causes the cube to self-align. Let us take a look inside of the core to see how they managed to do this magic. First of all, there's magnets in the corners that attract the core, but there's also magnets in the edges that repel the magnets in the core. And if you combine the pulling of the corners and the pushing of the edges, you get self-alignment. And what's the benefit of the system? Well, when you almost do your turn, it's like nah, and it gives you a plus two. Great! And if having magnets wasn't enough, you can now adjust every single magnet in the queue. You can change the setting of the corner magnet or swap the entire magnet out. You know, the notorious magnets in the box, which makes a total of 12 magnet settings. And I know what you're thinking. 12 settings? That's not nearly enough. And that's exactly what Gant thought, because you can now also adjust the magnets in the edges. One at a time. 24 freaking magnets. I'm having so much fun doing this. Oh my god. 1296 settings. So far, we've seen a lot of magnets all around the cube. But if we add all of them up, we notice there's still 12 magnets missing. Because if you thought Gan was out of places to put magnets, you're wrong. They're actually on my fridge. Nah, I'm just kidding. That was a stupid joke. They are actually in the core of the cube. The core of the Gan 14 maglev doesn't use springs, but two repelling magnets. Hence the name maglev. And using the tool, you can change the distance between these two magnets and make the cube feel more compressed and thus more controllable. And the last adjustment you can do on the GAN 14 and maglev is the center travel. With the other side of the tool, you can do click, click. On the paper, it states that if you increase this setting, the cube is less likely to pop. Let's test it. Let's start with setting number six, the loosest. Okay. Perhaps setting number five does a better job. Huh. Maybe setting number four? Uh, no, I, I guess not. The third tightest setting must keep the cube together, right? I guess it doesn't. I don't know if I even should have faith in the second tightest setting, but maybe? That's ridiculous. Man, I'm not even faking it. It's like, look at this. Okay, the moment of truth. The tightest setting doesn't keep the cube together. Yes. Yes, it does. Come on. Guys, jackpot. Finally. Oh, no, I, yeah. 1,296 settings. And you may wonder what happens if you set the tension at the loosest as well. Yeah. 1,296 settings. The GAN 14, the cube where you can just insert the corner. 1,200. Okay, I guess I made my point. And not only does it pop easily, it's also way too fast. But luckily you can solve this with a bit of loop. What the? 
I'm just cleaning my cube. So this is a $120 GAN 12 UI. Uh, I cleaned it with water. It's a smart cube. It doesn't work anymore. <laughs> so here's the thing that matters. How well does the cube perform? I took some weeks to make this video because I really wanted to use this cube before giving my opinion. But after around a thousand solves in total, I can confidently say the cube performs better than the 13. It really does. The reason being, it feels more like the 12. To me, the GAN 14 resembles a more solid GAN 12, which makes sense because the GAN 14 is 5 grams heavier than the GAN 12 is. And for all of my American viewers, 5 grams is about 1 ten thousandth of the weight of Kim Kardashian. Is this how conversion works? I have no idea. The plastic feels harder, but more smooth than that of the GAN 13, which results in a cube that can be too fast, but really enjoyable if you add the right combinations of lube. All of which you can buy at thecubicle.com. And in terms of corner cutting and magnetic strength, etc., despite the cube popping on almost all settings, the cube is flexible enough on the tightest setting to allow for decently smooth corner cutting. So just put it at the tightest setting, I guess. So to summarize, I'm gonna answer the title of this video. The GAN 14M Maglev is... Poptastic, a wallet drainer, a complexity galore, a twisty tragedy, so my advice is, you can buy the 14, but just make sure you add a bunch of lube and it will be a great cube for most people. Or you can check out the GAN 12, which is around $50 right now. But whatever you decide to do, make sure you use discount code CUPED for a HUGE discount. And my favorite, a drip drop disaster. Ah, do you get it? Because it drains a lot of lube. Drip drop disaster. You know, GAN, there's always next year. Ciao.